All right, moving right along. It's Python on hardware time. Exciting news this Ex week. It's exciting. So you did the, um, you know, we talked what about this earlier. Thing, yeah. Did the expressive thing. Did the expressive thing. That's now online. Uh, check it out. There's a lot of good sessions as well. Um, but we're up to the second beta of CircuitPython 8. What, yes. What is in it and why should people go try it out? The big deal that's new in um, beta 2 is we now have Pico W support with Wi-Fi in CircuitPython. SSL, sockets, TCP, UDP, requests, Adafruit IO. Um, we got our Azure library working as well. It's it's all pretty much working and it, it acts like you know native um, Wi-Fi socket pool, and uh, it's great for people who have a Pico W. You want to use um, you know our mass storage or USB or HID or MIDI capabilities. You want to use all of our 300 libraries that we've got. Um, you can now very easily use. Circuit Python with Wi-Fi and the Pico W. It's very fast. Works great. Only warning is, um, in order to fit SSL, we have to shrink the partition. So if you have an old Pico W, save your files because when you program it with Beta 2, it'll reformat the disk. But you probably weren't using a Pico W with Raspberry Pi. It's with a um, Raspberry Pi Pico W with Circuit Python because we didn't have Wi-Fi until now. So, um, but this is the first time it's released. It seems to be working. If people are trying it out, something doesn't work, please open up an issue on GitHub. Uh, big ups to Jepler, who um, slowly but surely made uh, way through porting the MicroPython library to CircuitPython and making it work seamlessly within yeah. our uh, socket pool system. And uh, this is our launch poster, and we got permission with Espressive, and good timing because today was the talk that you did with CircuitPython yes. on ESP32. Um, you could check out the Python developer survey if you want things inside of Python that maybe works for devices or just regular old Python. Um, this is kind of neat, just speaking of Wi-Fi stuff. Um, you can pull news headlines with the Pico W and CircuitPython. Uh, Less over at Tom's Hardware used uh, Pico W with CircuitPython and was Requests able to display this stuff. JSON is like amazing. It's like so much fun to do IoT projects. Um, the huge amount of memory that the Pico W has uh, means that you can read chunky JSON files, parse it out, get the data. It's like so fun and joyful to yeah, use. That's what people are saying. It's joyful. Um, we'll talk about some cowbells very soon. You can bong, bong, bong. Um, and uh, we were looking for some testers who were trying to help get the word out um, from River. This is an online CircuitPython IDE. So check it out. Yeah. You can look in the newsletter. And of course, there is tons of streams, projects, tons of projects, projects unending. Projects. Um, you can also, like Ooh, I said, terrain map. That yeah, cool. uh, you could also check out uh, the entire day of Espressive DevCon. Um, it's their first event. They did a really good job with it. They used StreamYard. Like, I'm noticing a trend with like how people are starting yeah. to do developer events. They did a really good job. Um, today was day one. And it only took us two and a half years to get good at remote uh, event streaming. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, that's the Python on hardware news this week. You can, of course, get this delivered to your inbox every single week. Head on over to adafruitdaily.com. That's where you subscribe there. We don't do anything with your store account. Completely separate, completely separate website. That is this week's Python on Hardware.